This tractor sat up all winter long, and now it's out of fuel. If you look down here, you'll notice that while it sat over these few months, I had a slow leak that has dripped out so that now it doesn't have any diesel in it. Now, if you've ever run out of diesel before, you know how hard it is to get up under the hood, take the battery out. Now, if you've ever run out of fuel in a diesel tractor, you know how hard this is to take the battery out, to get the tray and get up under here where the spark plugs are and cycle through them and alternate them to get the motor cranked. Well, I've got an easier solution for you today. Safety. We've got this tractor hooked up to a chain. The chain, of course, is hooked to a truck. We've already filled it up with fuel. Yeah, we're good there. So we're good there. We're going to get this truck to pull this tractor out there. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run the tractor in neutral to start with. And I'm going to get the truck to go about first or second gear speed. Once I get going in the field, got to have plenty of room to do this. Once I get it going, I'm going to throw the tractor in gear, first or second gear, to match the speed of the truck. At that point, it's going to run for 20, 30, or 40 feet until that fuel gets down in there, and then the motor's going to crunch. No taking out the spark plugs, no taking out the batteries, none of that. Just running the tractor in gear. That's going to be our trick today. Okay, here we go. We're going to put the, make sure we got the tractor in neutral. Got the truck and the chain ready to go. Here we go. As you can see, it works truck had to drag the tractor out because the tractor wasn't going to go anywhere. I had the bush hog strapped on, so I had to go in neutral, and I went in neutral till I got to the top of the hill. Now when the truck started pulling me down, what I did was I tried to match the speed, and first or second gear wasn't going to make it because I, we were going too fast. So I actually had to put the tractor in high, if you have a low and a high, I had to put it in high, and I had to put it in seventh gear. And you can see Going down, we made some uh, pretty big tracks because when you throw the tractor in second gear, you don't even have to crank it up. You have to make sure the ignition is switched on. When you throw it into gear, you'll hear the motor will sound like it's cranked up. Well, then you start working your throttle your to see if uh, the motor has cranked up. I had to go down uh, one time, and then when we started coming back uphill, it was just too much for my truck to pull, so I had to push the clutch in and let the tractor come up in neutral. But once we got up here, we made another swap and started going back down again. I actually had to make four revolutions around the field this time because it's been all winter since I've run the tractor. So once we got to going down the fourth time, I threw it in gear and I could hear the motor turning. And once we got about halfway, I heard it crank up. It worked. I worked the throttle a little bit and indeed it had cranked up. Yeah. It worked. 